Hello and welcome to Composition 1. Um, this lecture video is going to be just a short introduction to our class, to what we're going to be working on this semester, um, and just hopefully give you an idea of what the semester will look like. My name is Professor Natalie Plyman. Um, I have been teaching for several years, um, and I love Comp 1 because it's a great introduction to the academic um, art of writing. So I always love to start my Comp 1 classes with this poem. Um, this is a poem by Beth Strano. You can find it on Facing History and Ourselves website. Um, but it sort of deals with the idea of um, safe spaces. This is what the poem says. There is no such thing as a safe space. We exist in the real world. We all carry scars and have caused wounds. This space seeks to turn down the volume of the world outside and amplify voices that have to fight to be heard elsewhere. This space will not be perfect. It is not always what we wish it to be, but it will be our space together and we will work on it side by side. I really love this poem and I feel like it encapsulates what I am trying to do in my classes, um, which is we are going to create an environment where we can all learn together and where we can all learn from each other. Even in an online class, it's important that we can trust each other um, because we're going to be reading some interesting stuff, we're going to be sharing our work and sharing ideas. So it's important to me that everybody feels like they belong and that everybody is committed to um, making our classroom the best that it can be, even if it's an online classroom. So because we can't create a safe space, um, it is my goal that we are going to create a brave space. Um, so our goal for this class is to create an intentional community of learners that grows through interaction. One of the things that I love about um, higher education or college classes is that you will learn from me, but also you will learn from your peers, from your classmates, from each other. And that is just as important as anything that you learn from an instructor. Um, we're going to try to create a constructive space where we can share, disagree, and work together. Um, in our discussion boards, in some of the things that we're going to be doing in our online classroom, somebody may say something that you disagree with. Some of the material that we're going to be reading has some interesting concepts or ideas, and maybe we don't all feel the same about them. That's okay. Um, it is okay if we disagree as long as we are being respectful and we are always trying to learn. Um, hopefully this will be a comfortable place to be uncomfortable. If somebody says something that you have never thought of or that you feel differently, um, it's important to stop and sit with that and it's okay to be uncomfortable and think about why they believe what they believe and why you believe what you believe and what's really happening there. And there's some community practices that we're going to try to follow in order to do this. Um, stay present, listen with intention. It can be difficult in an online class to not um, apply what we think somebody's attitudes or motives might be, especially because we're reading text. Um, but try to do that. Um, challenge ideas, not people. If you come across something that you disagree with, that's okay, but we're challenging ideas, not people. Um, share talking time um, in discussion boards. Let's try to make sure that everybody has an opportunity to comment. Um, if you notice that one discussion post has lots of comments and another one has fewer, maybe um, arrange your replies so that everybody is getting um, interaction. Speak from your experience. Use I statements. In my experience, I have seen, or I had this experience, or I believe. Um, affirm others. Be honest and thoughtful. Work through discomfort. Have a curious mindset and be aware of intention and impact. Um, it is almost virtually impossible um, to never hurt or upset anybody. Um, if it happens, if something like that goes on this semester, just make sure that you recognize that even if you did not intend to hurt somebody, that your words still possibly had an impact. 
one of the things that we're going to be doing this semester is what I call a topic of study. Um, we're going to learn about several different genres of essays, but you will have the opportunity to write each essay on a topic that you pick. So for this semester, I am asking you this question. What do you want to change about the world? Um, and this can be globally, it can be nationally, it can be locally, um, it can be, you know, something that is very narrow or something that is very broad. Um, but over the next couple of classes, um, you are going to be thinking about this topic and exploring this topic. And whatever topic you pick, you are going to be working with that topic um, throughout the rest of the semester. So I'll give you an example. I believe very strongly um, that voting is essential to democracy. So there's some things I would love to change about the way we vote in this country. Um, I think that every adult should vote. Um, I think that election day should be a national holiday. There are some things that I wanna change about the way we vote. So maybe if this were me, I would begin to do my research on how we are, have been successful in our elections versus how we maybe haven't been successful in getting people out to vote. Um, and that's just me. That's one topic of literally countless topics that you can choose. But I want you to really think about what do you care about and what do you want to change about the world? Um, one of the things that is important when you start a college class is to check the syllabus. Um, I'm going to create an additional video where I go over the syllabus for our class because you know, sometimes it's an eight week class, sometimes it's a 16 week class, sometimes it's a summer class. Um, but what I want you to do as soon as you finish this video, log into your Brightspace account, access your English 1301 course, um, and then check out the video where I go over your syllabus and course calendar. This is a great way to hear me explain all of the course policies that we're gonna be working under this semester so that you know, um, and then you can also download a copy of your syllabus to just have or reference back to it at any time. Your syllabus is in the Brightspace account and it is going to be there um, throughout the entire course. After you've looked at your syllabus, one of the very first things that you're going to do in this class is take a syllabus quiz. Um, this is not a scary thing. It just has three questions. They're true or false. I'll give you a hint. The answer to all three is true. Mainly this is to let me know that you've read the syllabus and that you understand the policies. Um, and these are the three questions in your syllabus quiz. The first one is I've read the syllabus and I understand the syllabus policies. Um, if you have any questions about the policies, let me know. Um, we can email and chat back and forth that way, but we can also set up like a Teams meeting. Um, and then I have office hours where you can come in and talk to me in person if you would like to do that. But this lets me know that we all agree on the syllabus policies um, and this is the contract that we're working with. The next thing on the syllabus quiz says this, I understand that all work I turn in for this class will be created for this class and will be my own work. If I use somebody else's words or ideas, I will cite them. I understand that if I violate this policy, I will receive a zero for that assignment. If I do it again, I will fail the course. The purpose of this course is to learn academic writing. If you are using somebody else's work, if you are using um, AI generated work, then you are not practicing that skill. Not only that, I'm interested in what you have to say. Um, so for this class, you're going to be turning in your own work that you wrote for this class. Maybe you had a similar assignment in a different class. You're still going to be creating new work and practicing these skills that we're going over for this class. Um, if you turn in somebody else's work, you will receive a zero for that assignment. Please do not do that um, because it doesn't benefit you and it's not fun for me either. The last thing on the syllabus quiz says, I understand that there are resources to help me if I am struggling. If I need help, I will reach out to my professor. There are a wealth of of resources available to you, um, but I don't know to offer them if I don't know what you're struggling with. Um, so please do not suffer in silence. If there is something that you are struggling with this semester, um, let me know and we can work together to figure out a solution. 
that works for you. I am here for you. I understand this is an online class, but I am a real um, a flesh and blood professor and I am here to help you. So if you are struggling, um, this syllabus quiz is sort of your promise to me that you will reach out so that I can help you. It is my job, my goal in this class is that you will be successful and that you will walk out of here with the skills that you need to take into your other classes to write these academic essays. <coughs> the other thing that I'm going to ask you to do sort of first in this class is watch these two um, TED Talk videos. Um, Does Grammar Matter is a TED Ed video and it sort of addresses um, grammar and how we use grammar. Um, I do recognize that language has been used as a tool um, for oppression in both um, our everyday life and society as well as in academia. Um, the second video up here is Three Ways to Speak English, which is a TED Talk by an educator named Jamila Lyscott, who's brilliant. Um, I have students watch these videos because a lot of times students come into my class very afraid of the concept of an English class. We are going to go over how do you proofread and edit your papers, how do you make sure that your grammar is correct, that sort of stuff. Um, but there is no one correct way to speak English. Um, or to even write academic essays. And so I just want my students um, to feel comfortable to know that um, whatever um, manner of English you speak is wonderful and great. So check these videos out. They're really excellent. The last thing that I have up here that I want you to work on just as soon as you can is your student survey. Um, just right underneath this is your student survey. This is just some questions about you. It helps me as your professor get to know who you are. And it also lets me know if there's any specific um, needs that you have that I can address. Um, maybe you do really well um, with Teams meeting and you're going to want to schedule a Teams meeting you know, sporadically throughout the semester, or maybe you want to come into office hours and show me your essay and ask questions about it. All of those things are okay, but once again, I don't know what I don't know. So this just lets me know sort of who you are um, and how I can best be your professor this semester. If you have questions about anything that we talked about today, about anything in our online classroom, about anything related to um, what we're going to be studying this semester, about our syllabuses um, or assignments, I am here to help. Like I said, I know this is an internet class, but I am your, you know, real life professor. I am available. I have office hours. I'm available by email. And um, you can ask a question in our online classroom and I will answer it that way. Or you can always stop by office hours and see me in person and we can go over any questions you have or anything that you are struggling with this semester. Um, it is my job to help you and I am happy to do that and I am excited to be learning alongside you this semester.